cyclocross fans, and welcome back to BTB TV. We are here, of course, with the weekend preview. I don't know about you guys, I'm still kind of feeling the effects from last weekend. We had three days in Cincinnati, two days at the Cycle Smart International, five days of UCI racing just last weekend. I'm still kind of still a little bit, a little bit sore. Whatever. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Let's get ready now for another awesome weekend. Let's get right to it. The big race this weekend is the Louisville, Kentucky Derby City Cup. This year brought to you by Tim Johnson's Mud Fund. Uh, let's get right to it. <clears throat> the weather this week. You know, we talked about last week. We're just, I am just sick and tired of this perfect bluebird, 60 and sunny fall weather, but that is what we are getting again this weekend. 55 degrees on Saturday, 61 degrees on Sunday is the projection. Um, a little bit of rain this past Wednesday, but nothing that'll uh, really hold much water on that course. Um, speaking of the course, it is no doubt a world caliber venue. This, of course, uh, the place that held the world championships, Louisville, Kentucky, just a few months ago back in February. Under completely different circumstances back then, um, if you guys remember, they had to move all the races ahead one day to Saturday as it's a low-lying area right on the banks of the river. So even a little bit of rain or just high, uh, high water level in the river, maybe they uh, you know, open the dam upstream a little bit and it'll put that whole place underwater. But for this year, for this particular weekend, it looks like we are going to have classic Louisville fast, dusty, dry conditions. The start list, much like last weekend in Cincinnati, they are all here. Uh, these three weekends really, between Cincinnati, Louisville, and then next weekend in Iowa for the Jingle Cross event is three UCI C1 events back to back to back. So big points on the line, big money on the line, and as expected, all of the top riders will be on the line as well. So in Louisville on the women's side, uh, the one rider still not positive will be there is Katarina Nash, who took two of the three wins um, in Cincinnati. I didn't see her name on the registration. I think she's going to be there, but we'll wait to see. Katie Compton will definitely be there. Katie Antonu, Meredith Miller, L. Anderson all uh, coming on with some great form right now. Katie Compton has been struggling a bit. I mean, you can't really say she's been struggling. She's the World Cup leader. She's won a World Cup already this season, but if you watched uh, the Tuesday show, Who's Number One, we talked about how in five attempts this season against Katarina Nash, she has lost four times, and that's not Typical, that is not uh, the usual Katie Compton that we see here in the United States. Um, a rider like Elle Anderson, who's getting very strong this season on a dry course like we expect to see in Louisville, she could be up there. Uh, Katie Antony took a big third place in the mud on Saturday night in Cincinnati, but she has a very strong history in Louisville as well. Just, I think it was 2011, uh, we saw her out sprinting Katarina Nash, who is your number one ranked rider in North America right now. So all those women could be looking for a good day and a good weekend. On the men's side of things, this is going to be exciting. We had some definite shaking up of things in Cincinnati this past weekend. Jeremy Powers, <clears throat> off his game a little bit. Tim Johnson, riding better than we've seen Tim Johnson ride in a long, long time. Ryan Trebone just won a race. He's doing very well. Ben Bairden coming off a pair, pair of wins in uh, the Gateway Cross Cup. All of your top riders riding at their best. Or your best rider, Jeremy Powers, riding a little bit off, making for very evenly matched racing, making it very exciting for myself and uh, hopefully for you guys, the viewers. Let's get down to the SRAM key to the race. The SRAM. We should get some music for that. SRAM key to the race. I think it's going to be mental this weekend. I think the key is going to be upstairs, in your head, a confidence issue. We saw, like we said, a lot of shaking up last weekend. We got Katie Compton coming into this race. She expects to dominate. She's the World Cup leader, but she just lost two races. She lost in a sprint finish on the pavement. That's got a mess with your head. We got Jeremy Powers, who's been so dominant all season long, and he loses not one, not two, but three days last weekend in all sorts of ways. A DNF on Friday. He gets beat uh, essentially in a sprint on Sunday. Tim Johnson winning by just a few seconds. Um, how does he recover? How does he come into this? You know the legs are still good. You know that he's still putting in the training, but did it shake him up to the point where maybe he's going to be questioning himself on the start line? And on the other side of that coin, can a guy like Tim Johnson or Ryan Trebone, do they now have that new confidence to maybe not just sit on and expect Powers uh, to just trash everybody on the last lap, but maybe they put their nose out there. Maybe they go for it a little differently. So pay attention to that, guys. There's going to be some little intricacies within the tactics this weekend. Uh, real quick, there is still one other race going on in the USA Cycling Pro CX. Uh, that is a UCI race in New Jersey, just one day on Sunday, the HPCX event. And it is what it is. It is definitely 
uh, a much smaller race than Louisville. It is a cherry picker's race if you are um, an elite rider who needs UCI points in the season. Uh, if you take a look at the registration list right now, if you are one of those riders, maybe consider getting a plane ticket out to New Jersey. This could be uh, your chance to get a nice placing out there, get some points, get a little prize money. Um, that's it, guys. Course maps, start lists, hashtags, Facebooks, where to follow, who to follow, all of that is down below if you're watching this show on BTV, uh, or excuse me, behind the barriers.tv if you're watching this on Vela News or somewhere else. These are beautiful websites as well, but come on over to our website. We got some cool stuff too. I know you guys are busy, uh, you know, if you're on Cyclocross Magazine, you're probably reading a lot of articles. Reading is tiring, it, it hurts your eyes. Come watch some videos. It's, it's nice, it's over here. We got some good shows. Check it out. Behind the Barriers. The Presents episode was really good this week. Who's number one? It's always really good. Anyway, thank you guys for joining us. I look forward to seeing you this weekend. Goodbye.